stay spiritual. I hope he believes in an afterlife. and pop hits in the garbage. Oh. Hear that? Devin Weston sent me. Oh, oh, right. Uh, the helipad is on the roof. I think I'm gonna fix your attitude. No, you got the wrong gun, man. You here for the ride along? Jump in. Right along? Sure. Let's go. Boot up the scanner thing. It can pick up those new ID cards, right? When it's on, just fly where I point. Okay, booting up. You can use the stick to move the camera. Zoom in and out. It'll pick up pedestrians carrying the 2012 SA State license. If you target them, the scanner accesses the database and pulls their record. Fine. I got a pal on the ground we're gonna go see. So hey, you researching a movie or TV? You're a screenwriter, right? Mm, not exactly. An actor? Kinda smells like you're researching a role. Hey, buddy, look, I got a confession, okay? I'm not an actor or a writer or the son of a bigwig. I'm a criminal and your boss has kinda sold you to me. Sold me? I'm afraid so. Like chattel. Huh? Now we got that clear, you need to know we're looking for a high-value automobile. Once we find it, my guy in the ground will jack it, and we're great. So, um, uh, and then? And then what's happening? And then? Ah, spoiler alert, kid! We kill the witness. Yikes! Who we got over by the oil derrick? My man! I'll give him a scan. Public exposure? What's the deal, Franklin? Man, fuck that. I got a high ass, homie. One time I'll pick a brother up for any old shit. You want me to take it out on the LSPD representative sitting beside me? Man, just get the house. Do we looking for us down that way. I'll follow the car. How it? You heard the man. Wherever you want to go. You arrested my African-American friend for a minor infraction? The LSPD disgusts me! Well, it's not me. I mean, there's some bad apples in the department, but any accusation of a racist culture, uh... You wanna bullshit me? You can bullshit the freeway! We do community outreach, but we have minority quotas. Yeah, 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 your nice dick's got a minority quota. I should take... Look, please! we come so far in the last two decades. Oh, you're lucky I can't use this thing with one hand and fly with the other. Come in, Franklin. We're in position over Howick Avenue. What's the name of the suspect? The dude's name is Chad Mulligan, all right? Chad Mulligan. Roger that. job and all they care about is the bottom line. Guess who's getting a work-related injury and suing your ass for six figures? That's right, this guy. Wrong, suspect.
I got you, you creep. It's a free country. I know my rights. It's him. You got him. She's showing it off. She wanted me to look. You're a very sick man. Keep telling yourself that. She wanted it. If she wanted it, why are you sneaking around? Punch the creep. That's the buzz. You're both getting off on this. Don't try to deny it. That lady. I think you need help, our guy. I ain't the pervert. You are. Swingers. Please hit him! Let that clock off! We ain't after this one. I don't even like that bikini. The black one's better. Come in, Franklin. Suspect not in the area. I repeat, suspect not found in the area. All right, all right. He might be a couple blocks east of him. Roger that. I expect some enthusiasm. Hey, John, you disrespecting my girl, man. Not I'm already paying for a service. This is bullshit. Well, shit, now you're paying for the service of me not shooting you in the face, you disrespectful fuck. I've already maxed out my ATM. The with the what? And you out of luck. Speaking to my woman like that, huh? What the hell is wrong with you? Uh, uh, shit, he was being rude, man. That ain't right. Disrespectful, man. You insane! He was just a John. You need to stop being so overprotective. You meant to be a pimp, and you keep killing my customers. Hey, don't make me hurt you, ho. Shit, I'm trying real hard. You're going crazy! A man wasn't cut out for this game! Shit, baby, you know I love you, baby. I'm sorry. I'm an idiot, you know? Shit. Zaffo! Zaffo! Oh, the glass! My glass! Oh, Lord Zaffo! Oh, Lord! Well, Not well, our guy! Well, the glass! No, I'm still walking him. No, no stool yet. Dogs with borderline personality disorders are meant to take longer. I'm giving him space and more of a sense of independence. Which basically means I'll be out here for hours. His psychotherapist says it goes back to our car owner. So at least it wasn't that goat bitch weekend when we left him locked in the closet, right? No, I think we need to do more therapy with him. He's making progress, and maybe up his medication. It's all about getting the right balance. You don't know a good canine reflexologist, do you? Ping it over. Would you look at that couple? Finally! Normal, adjusted, healthy people in this horrible town! I would never. I'll see you later, okay? I love you. Oh shit! Shit! Oh 
be glad you caught us. He wanted to see it before we took off. We're on the way to his personal hangar at Los Santos International. I'll tell them to expect you at the gate. All right. Hey, I'm delivering the ride to Los Santos International. Hey, is the lady going to be there? We're just a dick who ain't paying us till we get all the cars. Shit, I think they both going to be there, dog. Devin and Molly. Say hello from me to Molly. Man, I ain't hitting on nobody for you, man. Least of all, her. Come on, why not? It's about time I settled down. 
shit, man. You need like a lion tamer or some shit. This girl, man, she got balls, dog, but she needs some serious stones to handle your ass. Just say hello. <laughs> man, I ain't gonna be a part of that. After everything I've done for you, ah, you are just like Michael. So, uh, the old hanging chad has only gone and reported that car stolen. Shit, and I spared this motherfucker. Attention all units. We've got a 506 up there, Pledge drives, we play commercials, right? It's crazy. Cheryl, don't ever correct me on the issue. Don't you ever correct my knowledge on what public radio is. I'm on public radio every day, cleansing people, cleansing their soul, taking them on journeys. And I'm not gonna let you tell me this flight is full. I'm not gonna do it, Cheryl. I'm not gonna let you offer me $300 to get on the next available flight. I'm not gonna do it, Cheryl. You know why? Because I wanna fly today. It ain't gonna happen, Cheryl. Not in front of my public, and not in front of my listeners, and not in front of those people out there who I'm cleansing through their ass. It's not gonna happen. Cheryl, you are a bully, man. Right there. Let this, this be strong, okay? I'm sorry I went there, but sometimes I gotta go there to get there. You understand what I'm saying? I gotta go out there. This is how it works, Cheryl. Let me explain to you how it works in front of everybody. In front of all my listeners. Okay. I gotta go through these airwaves, uh -huh. out to the people, touch the people, through their ears, uh -huh. into their ears, into their brain, yes. down, their, down their system, their nervous system, into their chest, to the, the help their heart beat, down to their bowels, right? To stir things up in their bowels. You understand? That's a cleansing. That's a damn cleansing. They sit on that toilet bowl, side saddle, and put one elbow on that flusher. You understand? Because everything's coming out. You know what? I'm getting Lionel back. Lionel was a damn good producer. Who's on the line? Please tell me it's Lionel. Lionel, you calling for your job back? Lionel! Ray, I love the vibe, but it's mostly bullshit. What the hell? We are raising awareness around here. Awareness, you dumbass fool! That's all it takes, and pretty soon, shit has changed. Because people don't even realize they're being aware because you're getting awareness, and you don't know you got awareness until you get the damn awareness. Don't you tell me what I'm doing here? And we have done it all by holding a protest sign and wearing tie dyes and smiling. Stop the bar. That's not actually doing anything, is it? What are you talking about? The first three letters in raising awareness are R A Y. Raising awareness. Bumper stickers create change. People see that shit and think while they're driving. The text on that bumper sticker is speaking to me right now. At a red light, driving 55 down to 35, right? I'm going to visualize world peace. I'm going to go home and I don't care if my woman leaves me. I don't give a damn right now. So what? I'm aware of global warming and pollution, but I don't give a crap. The news has made me an uncaring moron. I tell you what I'm tired of, I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm tired of all the so-called vegetarians and vegans in this state. I only eat raw meat. If you come back to my show and call me a fraud, I'll eat you raw. You understand? I'll cut you open, I'll gut you open, I'll eat your thigh, I'll eat your calf, I'll eat your stomach muscles, them baby back ribs, I'll eat your neck bone. I only eat raw. You understand? Do you hear me? Do you hear me? You're going down! You're going down, my guy! Hey, I'm supposed to meet Devin Weston here. Mr. Weston's hangar is up there on the left. You want to go there? You like that? You like that, Cheryl? Sure. You like that? Ray, you're just so holistic. Holistic up in this motherfucker! I don't cook shit! Cooking deprives you of all the nutrients that you need. Oh, there she is! <laughs> You know, if this beauty was a woman, I'd have to break my 20 and under rule. Man, I'll just stick to driving, all right? <laughs> hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they made? Uh, shit, like 10? No, not like 10, man. Exactly 10. Oh, wow, man. You one of them type of dudes, huh? Tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one day, man? For real. Like this? Or this? Oh, man, right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my services. No, no, don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now, 
It is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity, I'm security, I'm fast cars, blow jobs, I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man, I will. Before it's too late, man. Hell yeah. Just take any car and go! I got the damn food and I eat the damn food. gonna meet a bitch, that's where you're gonna meet one, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey. Give me a sip of that. What? Come on! My throat's dry as a motherfucker. Why? Is your mother dry when you're... <laughs> 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 what the fuck is that, huh? Nothing. Well, it didn't sound like nothing, all right? It didn't seem like nothing. I don't think that it was nothing. No, I didn't mean nothing by it, old man. Old man? Old man! Fuck you, you creepy old motherfucker! That's right. I said it. Creepy. Old. Motherfucker! No! Jesus. Huh? No, come on. Get what? Up. What? What? Sorry. Now, where I'm were sorry. we on, exactly, dude, huh? Get up. I'm sorry, man. We're Help. sorry. Help! Help! There's a guy with a gun! Family reunion! Come on, 
insult me in my hometown? Am I creepy now? Am I? You are, Trevor. Ah, oh, if it ain't my favorite marksman, huh? How are you, Cletus? Fine and dandy, sir. You ready to hunt some elk? Ah, uh, beat satellite dishes. <laughs> Lead the way. Oh, here you go. Now, uh, put this in your mouth. A bad day hunting still beats a good day working, my pa always used to say. What is this thing in my mouth? And why do I have the feeling I'm not the first person to use it? I'll explain that in a while. Let's start with the basics for now. Elk senses are razor sharp. If they see you or hear you, you'll spook them. And they'll bolt. You gotta move slowly and quietly and keep that aside. But an elk's nose is as big as defense. When you're tracking elk, you always need to watch the wind direction. If you don't stay downwind of them, they'll pick up your scent and be gone before you can say boo. Especially with that distinctive, uh, musk of yours. I'm calling pot and kettle on that, my friend. All right, this is a prime area right here. You feeling ready, Trevor? Raring to go. Okay, let's see if we can bag ourselves some elk. I saw a young bull using a down tree to scratch his antlers on not ten minutes ago. Follow me. I'll keep us downwind so we don't spook him. Hellfire! I have three speeds. On, off, and don't push your luck.
That's about the right distance. Go on, put him down. Can't get too much cleaner than that. Where are you going? There's still elk in there. Stick with me. I'll lead us further in. Keep quiet and stay close. I ain't seen much else or nothing else out here. But we're gonna have to see if we can coax one into the open. That's where that thing you've been chewing on comes in. Ah, yes. Please enlighten me. It tastes like old person. That's a diaphragm. Mm-hmm. An elk whistle to you and me. All right, give it a good blow. See if we can get any nearby elk to holler back. Sounds like someone strangling a clarinet player, and I talk from experience. Shh, listen. Okay, you hear that? He's over there. You're downwind, so he's yours to lose, Trevor. Go get him. You blew his damn head off. Okay, follow me. We'll move a little further in. Stay quiet. I think we might have a mating pair up ahead. Let's check it out. Now, remember, if it's a pair, we're only here for the male. No does. That's my rule. So if you see one with no antlers, leave it be. Blow your whistle again. See if you can get a beat on him. Okay, this is good. Same as before, nice and steady. Not the flatheads. You got this now, Trevor. Uh, you're on your own for the next one. Tell you what, I got an idea how we can go in on this together. Text me a pic of your next kill, and we'll talk business. Ah, I gotta go. Uh, good luck. I'll holler at you in a while.
Got the photo. Another nice kill. So this is what I'm thinking. All this demand for wild-raised meat with them city folks right now? If we divide and conquer, I reckon we could make ourselves a tidy little sideline. Text me a photo of your quarry. I'll let you know what it's worth and come by to pick it up as soon as I can. I like my meat with some age on it anyways. Uh, what do you say? Yeah, I say we'll see. I got a few other irons in the fire at the moment. All right, well, the offer's there. And you can keep that elk collar. Was my grandma's before she passed. Uh, be hearing from you.